the recordings have been made with the SKF electronic stethoscope and in order to obtain sounds as comparable as possible bearings of the same type and size deep groove ball bearings 6309 operating at the same speed of 2000 revolutions per minute and under the same 20,000 newton loading have been used throughout. First let us listen to the sound made by a bearing in good undamaged condition. Here comes a bearing with a damaged inner ring. And another damaged inner ring, though this time the damage is not so severe. Now it is the turn of a damaged outer ring which is stationary and does not rotate like the preceding inner rings. The noise made by a damaged ball is more uneven and of lower frequency. Rolling bearings react very strongly to contamination. Let us listen while ordinary cigarette ash is being blown into the 6309 bearing. The SKF electronic stethoscope may be used to monitor the condition of objects other than bearings too. Take for instance cavitating pumps. The relationship between the head and flow rate of a pump with a channel impeller has been changed in operation until the cavitation has started. Practice is required to be able to distinguish the different noises made by the bearings and here the recordings made with the aid of the SKF electronic stethoscope will prove to be a great help. If recordings are made regularly, they can be compared to see whether a new element has appeared in the noise spectrum. To show how easy it is to hear the difference when various sounds are compared, these sounds will now be repeated in sequence. Thank <laughs> you.
These were just some of the uses to which the SKF electronic stethoscope may be put.